You may think it is old wine in a new bottle. But the truth is not that easy and if we dig deep we will find some bitter truth. Therefore let's define the word swishy first. Only after that we can say whether our robot partners act as swishy or not. So today we're diving into a fascinating topic. Can robot partners be swishy and emulate human behaviors? In other words, can robots act like us, express emotions, and even have romantic or personal connections in the future? Thus stay tuned as we explore the science, the tech, and the possibilities. Let's get into today's topic. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, lots of thanks for your support. To begin with, we should set the stage. What does swishy actually mean? Before we get started, let's clarify what we mean by swishy, isn't it? In this context, swishy refers to a robot's ability to be more fluid, expressive, and emotionally intelligent. So to say, essentially, a robot that behaves in a way that feels human-like, especially in social and emotional contexts. Now, we know robots can do a lot of things. Yes, it includes from performing surgeries to playing chess. But can they actually feel or mimic the complex, nuanced emotions and behaviors that define human interaction, especially in relationships? To understand that we need to understand the science of emotional robots. And to dig deep, let's first look at the science. At its core, robotics and artificial intelligence AI, are advancing rapidly. In recent years, we've seen robots like Sophia and Pepper that can recognize emotions, hold conversations, and even smile back at you. But does this mean they feel emotions? Not exactly. They are designed to recognize patterns and respond in ways that mimic human emotions. This is called effective computing. Researchers like Rosalind Picard from MIT have been working on effective computing for decades. Her research suggests that emotions are integral to human interactions, and by mimicking them, robots could one day form emotional bonds. But these emotions in robots aren't genuine, they are programmed responses. So the question is raised automatically. So back to the question, can robots act swishy in a relationship? Can they emulate human-like interactions, such as empathy, affection, and companionship? Well, robots like Replica, a chatbot designed to offer emotional support, come pretty close. It learns from the user's input and can adjust its responses to sound empathetic. But is this real affection? Or is it just a sophisticated set of algorithms? To answer that, no, robots don't feel the way humans do. They simulate empathy based on data. For example, they recognize when you're upset and respond in a way that seems comforting. But the robot itself doesn't actually experience those emotions. It's all data-driven. Then the next question pops up. What could the future hold? So where are we headed? Could we one day have robot partners that not only simulate but experience emotions? Researchers are optimistic. AI and robotics are evolving quickly. Advances in neural networks and machine learning could lead to more complex and human-like behavior in robots. They could potentially develop systems that allow them to better understand human emotional states and respond in more nuanced ways. However, there's a big difference between mimicking emotions and actually experiencing them. The philosopher David Chalmers once said that it's difficult to know if a machine could ever truly be conscious, even if it behaves like it is. As a result, the ethical and social implications raise their heads. And it's quite natural. To understand that properly, let's take a step back. Even if robots could act swishy or simulate deep emotional connections, should they? What are the ethical implications of creating robots that could potentially replace human relationships? Experts like Sherry Tickle, 
a professor at MIT, warned that robots designed to be companions could lead to social isolation. People might prefer robotic companions over human interaction. Tuchel argues that while robots could offer companionship, they might also undermine authentic human relationships. And on the flip side, people might develop unhealthy emotional attachments to these machines. As a consequence, the question comes again and again. Will robots replace human companions? Now let's look ahead. Many wonder, will robots replace human partners in the future? Will people start seeing them as real companions or even lovers? Some researchers believe that AI companions could play a huge role in tackling loneliness, especially for elderly people or those in isolated environments. According to studies by researchers like Dr. Cindy Castrillo, robots could significantly improve mental health by providing a form of companionship, even if that companionship isn't based on genuine emotions. But it's unlikely that robots will replace the complexity and depth of human connection anytime soon. But the future is bright and shiny because we can see the road ahead, which is blending technology and humanity. As technology advances, it's clear that robots will play a bigger role in our personal lives. They may not have real emotions, but they could help fill emotional gaps and make life easier. The key question is, can we trust them to behave like humans, or will they always just be tools, no matter how swishy they act? Ultimately, while robots might not feel the way humans do, they can still act in ways that mimic human emotions. Will this change the way we think about relationships? Only time will tell. All right, folks, that's a wrap on today's discussion. What do you think? Could robots ever replace human partners? I know the question seems to be cliche. So let me ask in this way, are we better off keeping the real emotions with real people? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights. Keep watching Wooden Slate. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye, take care, and stay safe.